Welcome to our lesson on equations. Today we're going to be looking at different equations, what makes up an equation, and then we're going to go through some questions to solve equations, actually. First off, what is an equation? An equation is two expressions that have numbers or variables, and they're joined by an equal sign. For example, we have the expression x plus 4 and the term 5, which I guess would be an expression on its own, and they are joined by an equal sign. So x plus 4 equals 5. There's another one. This one has only numbers. So this is an equation because it has the expression 1 plus 4 and 5 on this side. And they're joined by this equal sign. Our next example of an equation is 2x plus 3 is equal to 3x. This equation has a variable and numbers on both the left and the right hand side of the equal sign. And it's an equation because there is the equal sign in between both expression number 1 and expression number 2. We're going to look at some examples now. Our first example is to check if the equation is actually an equation. In other words, we want to know if the left side is actually equal to the right side. Because the word equation comes from the, the root equal, right? So these two are, have to be equal to each other. Otherwise, it is not an equation. So to check our work, we're going to solve everything on the left side. And we're going to solve everything on the right side, remembering to use our orders of operation and our simplifying expressions. And when we do them correctly, we'll see if, indeed, the left side is equal to the right side. So in our first side here, we have 4 minus 2 inside of parentheses. So in the left, we're going to solve that first. 4 minus 2 is 2. And on the right, we have 7 plus 2 times 2 plus 1. Multiplication and division gets done first. So our next line of the solution will look like this. We've solved what was inside the parentheses. And we've done 2 times 2 is 4. 7 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 12. And 6 times 2 is 12, so this is indeed an equation. They're equal to each other. Let's look at another one. 17 minus 2 times 6 divided by 4. And 4 plus 3 in parentheses times 7 minus 4 in parentheses. On the left-hand side, we're going to do multiplication and division first, starting at the left and moving to the right. So we'll first do this multiplication, 2 times 6. And over on the right, we'll do everything inside of the parentheses first. So 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 minus 4 is 3. And then over here, we have, we've just solved 2 times 6 is equal to 12. In the next line of the solution, we're going to divide 12 divided by 4, which gives us 3. And we'll multiply 3 times 7. 7 times 3 is 21. 17 minus 3 is 14. And if you can see there, there's a line going through that equal sign. That means that it is not equal to. So 14 is not equal to 21. Therefore, this is not an equation. All right, if they are not equal to each other, it's not an equation. That's why I kind of left the blank down the middle there. And we'll do that throughout when we're solving for these equations. The next type of question that I'd like to look at is, what makes this equation true? We're going to look 30 minus 2 times x is equal to 20. Does this value of 1, 3, or 5 make this equation true? And those values, we're going to substitute in for the value of x. All right, later on, we'll be calling those sets. But right now, we're just looking at them like numbers. All right, let's go ahead and, and take a look there. First, we will substitute the value of 1 in for x. 2 times 1 is 2. And 30 minus 2 is equal to 28. And again, if you can see there, there is a line saying that that is not equal to 28, is not equal to 20. So therefore, this is not 
the correct solution. One is not the correct solution. Let's go on to number three and see if that's the correct solution. Again, we substitute that value of three in where we see the x. Two times three is six. Thirty minus six is twenty-four. And twenty-four is not equal to twenty. So therefore, three is also not the correct solution. See, we're doing this. This is a pattern we're going to be following here. Let's go on and check five. Thirty minus two times five. Two times five is ten. Thirty minus ten is equal to twenty. So that is the correct solution right there. So therefore, the value of five makes this equation a true statement. All right, let's do one more. And in this one, I put the values down here, like um, maybe if you were on a test or something and you had multiple choice A, B, C, or D. What value makes it true? X being equal to one, three, four, or six. So to solve this, we're going to do the same thing we did in the previous slide. We're going to substitute the value of one everywhere we see an X. In this case, it's a little different because there is an x on both the left and the right hand side of the equation. Or not equation if it's not equal. Let's check it out. Two times one is equal to two. And three times one is equal to three. Two minus six is negative four. And three minus ten is negative seven. They're not equal to each other. Um, sorry that we went negative here. But they're not equal to each other. Two minus six is not the same as three minus ten. Let's go ahead and look at the next question. The next example, which we'll be using a value of three. And we take the original equation here. We substitute the value of three everywhere that we see in x. Two times three is six. And three times three is nine. Six minus six is zero. Nine minus ten is negative one. Again, we've got a negative number. But zero is not equal to negative one, so therefore we know the value is not three. Now we're going to look at the value of four. We'll substitute four in everywhere we see an x in the equation. So two times four and three times four. Two times four is eight. Three times four is twelve. Eight minus six is two. And 12 minus 10 is 2. So 2 is equal to 2, so we found one correct solution. Let's go on to the next one and see if that's our so correct solution as well. We'll substitute the value of 6 into our equation. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 6 is 18. 12 minus 6 is 6. And 18 minus 10 is 8. So those are not equal. So essentially what we've done is by substituting in these values into the original equation, we've been able to discover whether they make the statement true or they don't. In this case, the value is 4. So we could say x is equal to 4, and that would be our final solution. I hope this mini lesson has been helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.